As it turned out, the body, thanks to the original appearance, rebuffed not only competitors, but also environmental influences. For example, corrosion reaches only large chips or elements restored after an accident. The weak points turned out to be chrome parts that began to undress after a couple of years, as well as an easily scratched paintwork. A facelift, which slightly changed the grill and added turn signal repeaters to the mirrors, was carried out in 2010. At the back, a chrome strip appeared, which became another element that dumped its shiny coating over time. Engines. Elantra motors are ready to reliably serve the owner only if they are properly serviced in a timely manner. As consumables and fuels and lubricants, you should use only those recommended by the manufacturer. For example, installing a non-original fuel filter can lead to failure of the injection nozzles, and refueled anywhere, gasoline can easily destroy spark plugs and ignition coils, which are individual for each of the cylinders. A new timing belt for the 2.0-liter version is recommended to be changed every 60,000 kilometers. The most common 1.6 engine is preferable in this regard, since the internal chain, which is to be replaced at the 150,000th run, is responsible for the drive of the gas distribution mechanism. However, the intervention of mechanics may be required much earlier, 70 to 100,000 kilometers, since on cars of the first years of production there were cases of slippage of the chain T. The culprit of the trouble was the hydraulic tensioner, which was not coping well with its duties. Transmission. Better than all other nodes, the transmission does its job. There are no particular complaints about both the manual and automatic transmissions. However, do not forget to change the oil at the manual transmission for 90,000 km. For automatic transmission, this procedure is carried out twice as often. There are no complaints about the drives either. Attention to yourself will require only a weak clutch, especially if the Elantra is used as a training car. The smell of friction linings in this case is a common thing. The release bearing, as a rule, fills the interior with a rumble closer to 50,000 km. Suspension. But the running Hyundai Elantra turned out to be much more talkative, and it will declare itself much earlier. The first voices, as a rule, belong to the bushings and struts of the front stabilizer. Their resource is very modest, 30 to 50,000 km. Behind the same elements are only slightly more enduring. By the same time, you can hear the worn rubber metal elements of the rear wishbones. The remaining parts of the structure must live more than 100,000 kilometers. For example, ball joints and strut supports without problems care for about 150,000 kilometers. In addition to all of the above, rear bumpers become the vocal parts of the suspension for many. With the Lantra shock absorbers, in general, the conversation is separate, since it is they who most often disturb the hearing of the owners. This is because even in their working condition, on completely ordinary bumps, you can hear their immodest gurgling. Leaks are mainly caused by hard impacts and driving with the full load. This is because the Elantra springs sag quite easily and lose their properties over time, significantly reducing the car's ground clearance. With brakes, on the contrary, there are no problems at all. Pads and discs take care of the deadlines set by the regulations with a decent margin. Steering. It will not be difficult for steering tips to live 100,000 kilometers, although the rail itself, as a rule, asks for repairs much earlier. Replacing the entire assembly is generally not required, it is only necessary to put a new plastic sleeve in place of the old, worn one. This procedure is done independently without any problems. This will significantly reduce the cost of repairing and, at the same time, smear your hands in order. If the knock when taxiing and driving over bumps is heard mostly in the cabin, then it is likely that it is time to contact the dealer to replace the euro-elastic coupling with the modernized part. If something else inside can make noise, then this is only a broken heater control damp, which is perhaps the only weak point of the interior. Otherwise, the spacious comfortable lounge for the average layman will remain without pretensions. Even crickets rarely start among such materials. Most of the sounds are guaranteed to get in through the mediocre soundproofing on the outside, and most likely it will be the suspension. Total. As we can see, the Lantra for Russian conditions is far from the worst option. The overall picture is spoiled by a small gray spot, by the standards of most Japanese cars, Odavka. Otherwise, the impressions of owning this car will be positive, regardless of the chosen engine and gearbox. If, on top of that, you take into account cheap parts and affordable service, then almost nothing can spoil the mood of the owner between replacements of suspension elements.
This character is already closer, rather, to cars from the land of the rising sun than from the mainland. That is why most of the competitors come from Japan.